Owing to the importance of strategic location of India, Indian armed forces play a pivotal role in protecting our geopolitical boundaries. The Indian Army deploys soldiers in the hostile terrain and extreme weather conditions, which is a formidable challenge for their sustenance and performance. A soldier must always be fit to fight, both physically and mentally. The insurmountable and invincible courage of Indian soldiers, their intelligence and reasoning ability is what gives them an unmatched reputation. Their dedication towards the nation is what keeps us sleeping peacefully in our beds. Physiology, an experimental scientific discipline that provides a thorough understanding of normal body function is of central importance in medicine and related health sciences. Good health leads to all work accomplishment. Research in military physiology was started in 1952 at Defense Science Laboratory, New Delhi. The essence of a full-fledged physiology institute was felt from the ashes of Sino-India War of 1962. The need was to prepare Indian military for similar conflicts in the future and therefore with recognition of environmental physiology and ergonomics as prime thrust area, the Defence Institute of Physiology and Allied Sciences, DEPAS was officially instituted on 20th September 1962 at Delhi Cantonment and shifted to its present permanent premises at Dimarpur, Delhi in the year 1993. DEPAS is the only institute in India that conducts physiological and biomedical research on soldiers to improve their operational efficiency in extreme thermal environment. The institute was established with a vision to be a center of excellence in the field of environmental physiology and human factor research, with the human behind the machine playing a pivotal role in the success of military operations in hostile terrain and advanced combat platform. The laboratory mission is to optimize the human performance in different occupational environmental conditions using physiological, biochemical, nutritional and ergonomic approach. With a motivated technical team of scientists and diligent administration, over the years, DIPAS has developed core competence in the areas of physiological adaptation to environmental stress in myriad ways. This has enabled DIPAS to design and develop many life support systems and technologies for improving the habitability of Indian armed forces. The three-stage acclimatization schedule of 14 days for high altitudes for induction of troops was given by DIPAS. Intermittent hypoxia exposure at sea level using multi-crew human decompression simulation chambers has evolved as an effective strategy for rapid induction in emergency-like situations. DIPAS has developed solar-powered, solar-heated oxygen enrichment shelters for providing extra oxygen under hypoxic conditions. A fuel-efficient space heating device, Bukhari, has been developed for proving relief in sub-zero temperatures. It also has low carbon monoxide emission and is safe from fire hazards. Due to scarcity of water at high altitude, a solar snow melter has been designed and developed to provide drinking water from snow. The melted snow water can be collected in a solar powered water storage tank. Besides the devised solutions for habitability in extreme climatic conditions, DIPAS has also developed same pharmacological approaches as prophylactic and therapeutic modalities for sustenance like GFIT developed from medicinal mushroom Ganoderma, Quercetin, a physical performance enhancing nutraceutical bar and a ready-to-eat cognitive enhancer Cognobar that improves mental functioning like memory, decision-making and alertness. Frostbite is the severest form of cold injury and is a serious medical problem for our soldiers working in the glacier region. Aloe vera based cream local has been developed for offering effective protection from frostbite, sunburn, chaffing off of skin. DePass has developed a potent herbal wound healer, Herbo Healer, in the form of topical cream using sea buck thorn extract that promotes rapid and aesthetic healing of normal and chronic non-healing wounds. To harness the ancient knowledge of yoga towards improving our soldiers' health, 
this institute has been working on scientific evaluation and validation of different yoga asanas. DIPAS has developed customized yogic modules for armed forces operating at high altitudes and in deserts. Thousands of soldiers are being trained using these yogic modules at unit locations with real-time recording of various physiological parameters. Ergonomics is one of the sole areas of research for optimizing soldiers' performance through human-centric approach. Over the years, many state-of-the-art facilities like 3D motion analysis system, electromyography, eye tracker, metabolic measurement system and simulation and human modeling software. Valuable recommendations were provided with respect to light combat aircraft, bulletproof troops carrier, Customized guidelines are also provided for load carriage under various natural terrains. The ergonomically designed 70 and 90 litre backpacks, combat boot, multi-purpose load carriage ensembles, flexible water bottle and lightweight snow boot have drawn immense appreciation from the users. The institute has collected anthropometric data of more than 10,000 Indian army troops belonging to different ethnicities using 3D whole body human scanner. 13 combat uniform sizes covering entire ethnic population were developed and adopted by Indian Army. Another remarkable achievement of the Institute is development of female full body protector, Prabala, based on Indian female anthropometry. This is a lightweight protective ensemble and the first of its kind for safeguarding the female troopers in riot-like situations. Noise-induced hearing loss in military and industrial environment is considered one of the most common occupational health hazards. Active noise-reducing ear defenders and stellar earplugs are designed to provide protection against the high-impulse noise levels encountered during firing of weapons. It also provides minimal disturbance from the background noise for smooth communication. DIPAS is working towards optimization of sleep and cognitive functions under stressful environments. It has a state-of-art human sleep laboratory to carry out research in the field of electrophysiology and neurophysiology. A fatigue monitoring system is developed for pre-flight assessment of mental fatigue of Indian Air Force pilots to avoid aviation accidents. DIPAS has a human climatic chamber facility that simulates hot dry and hot humid conditions that are prevalent in real terrains of desert. The chamber is well equipped for conducting research in the field of heat physiology. Prolonged stay at high altitude areas causes systemic hypertension and associated cardiovascular problems. To counter such issues, DIPAS carries out extensive research on cardiorespiratory physiology. Adequate nutritional support is a must for maintaining highest level of physical fitness under different operational situations. The periodical review of nutritional requirements followed by adequate recommendations for the armed forces and paramilitary forces is a regular activity. DIPAS has good infrastructure with some sophisticated test equipments and facilities like inechoic chamber, bomb calorie meter, high performance thin layer chromatography, atomic absorption spectrometer, fluorescent bright field microscope, flow cytometer, in vivo imager, confocal microscope and so on. With the advent of modern technologies, huge amount of data is generated. DIPAS is making a systematic attempt to compile and analyze this data and derive desired knowledge by improvising bioinformatics to tackle the situation. DIPAS is in close collaboration with academic institutes of excellence like AIMS, JNU, IGIB, Delhi University, Bharathiyar University, ISRO, IITs and industrial partners for research and development of its products. DIPAS has international collaboration with Kyrgyzstan. The efforts have culminated into the establishment of Kyrgyz Indian Mountain Biomedical Research Center in the year 2011 and the high-altitude field station at Siok Pass was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2015 with sophisticated research infrastructure. As the whole world is grappling with the pandemic of COVID-19, 
DIPAS has played a key role in the war against COVID by establishing the molecular investigation facility during May 2020 with concordance from ICMR India. As a part of preventive measures against transmission of coronavirus, many products such as UV sanitization box and handheld UV device, a two-piece breathable PPE, herbal spray herbo shwas, an IgG ELISA test kit called DIPAS VDX and customized yoga packages have been developed. In a parallel effort to curb the current pandemic, a vaccination drive has been initiated by DIPAS with the help from state and central agencies. Maintaining highest level of cognitive and physical performance would be possible using integration of modern technology in 10 sciences. For example, genomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, nutrigenomics, etc., nanotechnology and system biology. Continuing with the persistent efforts to optimize the human-machine interface, thereby enhancing our soldiers' performance and efficiency, the Institute is presently engaged in design and development of bio-inspired passive exoskeleton, extreme cold weather clothing system and formulation of ergonomic recommendations for use of ballistic headgear with sister laboratories. Now our endeavor is on disruptive technologies that include genomic cards for precision medicine, for sustenance and performance in extreme environments and molecular therapeutics. DIPAS is an indispensable pillar of life science cluster that strengthens technological bone of DRDO. DIPAS is in quest of making a powerful and self-reliant Bharat. DIPAS is unique and to become unique. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam once said, to become unique, the challenge is to fight the hardest battle which anyone can imagine until you reach your destination. DIPAS Scaling new heights, establishing new frontiers. Jai Hind!